Hey guys, Mike Chizik here for Champ Car, presented by RVA Graphics and Wraps. It's Sunday afternoon. It's starting to look sunny, which is shocking for the weather down here in the southeast lately. It's been a miserable winter. A lot of rain, some snow in North Carolina of all places, and just cold. I mean, it's end of March, and it was 36 degrees yesterday. <sighs> I need some warmer weather. Anyway, um, been getting a lot of petition comments in from you guys and that is great to keep them coming um, we definitely want to hear from you guys it shows that uh, you care about what's going on here and to that end I wanted to make some notes to you guys today about that uh, some of you guys have sent some comments in and it appears that you think that uh, these petitions are the new rules that are going to be going to effect maybe I'm wrong maybe I read your email wrong but in case that's the case for any of you I want to let you know that these petitions are not the new rules. These petitions are suggestions by your fellow members to change our rules. If we were not to meet and discuss these petitions, say we all got hit by a bus, um, the rules wouldn't change. Now, though it might be good that the rules don't change, it's probably bad we get hit by a bus. But anyway, um, just keep that in mind when you're reading these things. These didn't come from us. Um, I know that there's two of them on there to have like board member names on them, but uh, these are from you guys, and so the guys you're racing against on Saturday, it's one of those guys that suggested we should change this the rule to read like this, or we should add this or delete that. The board's going to meet and talk about these, and what we're going to do is we're going to say, does this suggested change benefit the entirety of the club? Not just 51%. Or sixty percent, but you know, I want to see seventy-five, eighty-five percent would be benefit from this change that is proposed. If only one team is going to benefit from from this rule, you, or only half the club is going to benefit from it, we're going to say no. We're checking every one of these rules against our vision for the club and what's best for the membership, the majority of the membership. So, go ahead and send those comments in on these rules, petitions to the rules. Um, let us know how you feel. Feel real strongly about that this absolutely should happen or this absolutely should not happen. We're reading those. We're going to use that. The board's going to be meeting at the end of this uh, petition comment period. We're about halfway through that right now. And we're going to meet and go over the petitions themselves and the comments about that petition. And we'll debate about that and make a decision on it. And then we'll announce those decisions at the uh, public board meeting in June at the National Corvette Museum. i got to tell you that... I don't, don't like to say yes. Um, just ask my kids. They'll ask me something. Dad, can we? Before they even finish the sentence, I say no. No is so easy to say. It's a word I like. It's probably my favorite word in the language. No. Um, so there has to be a compelling reason to make a change to our rules. And you guys can send those in to us. We'll talk about them. And we'll see what happens here. Um, but don't worry about right now. Things have not changed. We've had the same rule package since January 1st, 2017 that we have now. We'll have to the end of this year, so plenty of time. Um, but I appreciate those comments coming in. Keep them coming. Uh, anything jumps out at you, get clarification, maybe you don't understand what the petition is, send a question to me about that. Glad to uh, straighten that out for you. But anyway, just thought I'd let you guys know about that today so everybody was on the same page, weren't no nervous about something. And now that that's out of the way, I probably should try to enjoy what little is left of the semi-sunny day here on a Sunday. Um, and by the way, I have no internet. For some reason, the old internet company decided to turn off their service before the new internet company turned on. So I have no idea if this is going to get posted this today or a week from now or ever. I don't know. It's like living in the 80s. No internet. I'm not sure what to do. Hey, but anyway, you guys can go work on your cars. Get them ready for Daytona. And uh, if you haven't paid for Daytona yet, get that in because we have a long wait list of people that want your spot and they're about to get it. Anyway. Alright guys, been good talking to you. We will see you at the track. Thanks. Bye.